Hello everyone, and welcome back to our show in what should have been episode 11, but this is episode 10. This is going to be a little quick interjection off before we actually get on to the episode today. Basically, I recorded an episode over the winter where we saw Surrey. I don't think it was all manure. We sold a few of our items, like our greenhouses or honey and that, and we managed to pay off the loan. So if we have a look at our finances, the loan has been paid off, and if we have a look at our income, like we made over the winter 36, 40 grand for milk, 70 grand from products, we did some today as well, but maybe in today's episode, so we'll find out in a sec. And just, yeah, so just a little quick introduction of where when we start the episode shortly, we are going to be quite far ahead, and I will be talking about things like we did in the last episode. Because I start recording this episode after recording last episode, didn't look at editing or anything like that, and half of my footage has been corrupted for some weird reason not sure what's going on with the playstation but yeah so well any further ado let's get cracking on with the episode so yeah as a little recap in last episode we've repaid all of our loans we bought the TLX 3500 with the pickup flatbeds or the flatbed X I think it is or the prospector one However, we're having issues with that, so haven't heard any comments yet. I've made a post in Discord servers, so hopefully someone can help me out with that. <coughs> Just because I don't want to buy it every time when I'm loading into the gaming app. Yes, yeah, so I know I could do the whole government sub sign and then, you know, just sort of lease in to get the money down, but I just don't want to do it that way all the time. I think I really don't. But yeah, so that to the side, back to the whole Realism series. And we are... Is it down? Why aren't you going down? I should have lowered. Ah, that's why I forgot didn't unfold it. There we go. Oh, this doesn't have a sludge additive. Well, that kind of sucks. If you popped up in the used market, no. I swear all the forge wagons had sludge additive bonus. Or am I mistaken? Yep, I think I am mistaken. I swear like somebody's had the I know like the modded ones here had the option for such additive. Wait, minute, let's go to our one. Yeah, we can put such additive in this. Um bear with me a sec. Hopefully we don't lose the six hundred years of Yeah, I'll turn you off. Not a problem, of course, yeah, it just takes you shopping. Bit of a missight on my part, but it is what it is with hats, so. But yeah, I was thinking, because obviously I had this on No Man's Land where we had the slice additive, so yeah. <laughs> Good thing we spotted it now rather than later. Like I say, after doing a full load, so. Hopefully we should have the option. We'll go ahead and repair it. There we go. Sorry, additive. No, nope, but not on to you. Oh good, we didn't lose the grass. <laughs> so now let's go to pallets. We could get this one here, but three grand, that's pretty expensive. Right, so three grand for 60 litres. Or 4,400 for 1,500 litres. But I swear, let's see if there is a drum. 
that we could potentially buy. Just have to look for it. No, don't want you. Hey, there we go. 50 litres for 500 quid. That will do me just fine. Bummer, it's over there. Come on, let's pick you up. Oh, there we go. Heavy thing. That's thing, it's got a small capacity, so, and it goes a long way, so. But there's anything in the used market? Nope, still. Heard a little click, so I thought, oh, something's popped up, but no. So yeah, back to the task in, ooh, in hand. Oh, that could have been really expensive if we smashed into a tree. But yeah, the green milk, that's going to cost us 23 grand. And then we can use that with the wheat to put some there, get some flour in. There we go. Also, this one here that we can use can make sunflower oil. So, not sure what the cycles per month is like, but everything's better than nothing. So, because yeah, with the sunflower, we can sell it now and get 120 grand ish give or take however I think yes yeah, it's just, just make some fire oil it sells about double the price I think or 75 percent more than some flower so but not sure about the ratios now so we're gonna have a look at that I think and if we don't use it for some fire oil production it's always good to have it then we can make flour, because I do want to start making donuts at some point. So yeah, first pass, and that is 10,000 litres. Yes, yeah, so nobody moved the land. We'll turn you off. Hopefully the farm owner doesn't mind us just going across his fields. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Why wouldn't it be? But well, yep, so we'll quickly get this finished and then um, we'll start compacting this into the side clamp, which is just okay to do over there, I think. If I remember where I placed it. So that is the contracts done. We've done making silage now. We've just cut out falls forge wagons load and also I'm continuing on for where we've done the intersection of the start of this episode of where yeah basically record episode ten and file got corrupted so I thought because I'm gonna record episode eleven today on first no, not Thursday, Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I thought I'll quickly edit episode 10, get it up in the bow. So that's up for today, and this episode could have come down, let's say, Thursday or Friday after it comes to farm and survive roleplay, but 
yeah, so that's changed. But anywho, anyway, so we won't focus on that. So yeah, we've done some contract work. We've gone and set up some contracts. I may have included a clip or a screenshot of that. If I didn't, no me. Here is proof. We got 23 grand from contract income. So we did yeah four contracts. We did a sewing contract. Yeah, sewing, seeding, and fertilizing. Uh, so any more contracts? Nope, that's all the contracts done for today. Actually, over the next couple of months we'll get more and more contracts, I'm not too worried about that. But what we could do if have is a little bit more seed. Yeah, ignore the little pallets of lime in front of his workplace, I will clear that up at some point. But yeah, also leading to today's, well, recording and... We haven't lost a bed for the TLX, so that's a plus. Ooh. That was close. So we'll go over here, grab you. Hopefully, this should be enough. There we go, let's leave you up there. Yeah, I think that should be enough. And actually, did, did I even cover the side clamp? No, me, I probably didn't. Have a look. Uh, no, we didn't. So, well, we'll cover that at the end of the, the day, I think. We don't, we're not in a mega rush to get side in that, so. But, anyways, we've got the planter, we've got those up. Also, we spent seven grand on TMR. We've got 35,000 litres laid up in the trailer at the shop. We'll deal with that in a bit. Actually, how are the cows doing for TMR? Breaks, they're out. Change of plans. Yeah, 34,999 litres. Fair enough. Oh man, today's episode has to be gone up so far, just. Doing bits in there and think, oh yeah, this is what that needs doing. But yeah, also we've got the fertilizer to grass field, so that doesn't need doing now. And we'll give the cows its crucial to your mark so it doesn't starve to death. Or well, it, so they need to starve to death. And we just go move forward, please. There we go. Hopefully we're not going to have any clipping issues. Hopefully not. Yeah, and... We're all good. Yep, we're all good. So the cows... 35,000 litres. We perhaps could have got away with 40,000. But... There we go. Just move you out of the way. We got the surrey that needs selling, got milk that also needs selling, so yeah, I got a lot of things to do, but what we need to prioritize is the actually what we could do Yeah, I think actually what let's go ahead and sell the surrey here. And then we'll sell the milk and then we'll get on with the planting I think. So there'll be some jump cuts. But we will get these sold. And there we go, off the beat path, so we can get away with breaking the speed limit, so, so if you're not on public highways. Obviously this is still technically a public road in that, but really there ain't that much law enforcement around, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, we should get, what, a healthy 14 grand or so? I think by the time we've done this, we've done mill, we could be back up to 100 grand again. So yep, 14 grand, and now let's go and grab the milk. So there we go, we've gone and grabbed the milk. But yeah, I just want to quickly show you like, the versatility of this. So, milk is secure, so I think there'll be any water leaking in to dilute. And I can cab. I 
actually we can go so far underneath because we've got a nice snuggle pool. But yeah, we can go proper off road with this. <laughs> Bump and schedule. But yeah, this is a proper beast. Especially with the rain suspension. Definitely worth the money. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth the money. Now with the whole Surrey tank, we will for sure return that today. No ifs, no buts, no coconuts. We're on the road, so stick to the speed limit. And we'll go and sell the milk. We should get again about 13, 14 grand from this. So, what's that doing that? We'll hop over to the case. So, yeah, we could have planted the like oats today. Well, still thinking doing 11 and the 30 31 fields as sugar beets is so yeah, 14,800. So, not quite 100 grand, but again, we've got a lot of planks to sell, which we'll do at the end of the day. But yeah, we also went and just leased this because it is a big planter. I was going to get a small one, but. Maybe we can buy a small one, own a small one if we need to. But really, we're going to have this, what, for two months from March and August. Uh, not August, March and April. So we don't really need to own one. For something like this small field over here, definitely have a small one. Wouldn't be too bad. But again, if we're doing like big silage now because I'm gonna do that every year is we'll do like May silage or something just because it's gonna get a buckload of money but of course they've been a bit big in that just gotta make sure we're getting every inch sugar beets has been selected and we are seeding. So the ground is good, the variable seed rate, 8 litres of seed per cubic metre, so... Actually, it's all precision farming, it's like modern technology. Just absolutely mind-baffling. <laughs> Just how a simple computer could look at the data for the soil, say, yes, this needs X amount of litres of seed, per cubic meters and just yeah it's just absolutely fascinating we will turn the beacons on since we're working close to the road don't want any cars jeopardizing us Oof. come on stop scraping the fence <laughs> That's the downside of having a big planter and that is you can just scrape the fence, isn't that? Come on! We want to go straight, not into the fence. Yes, yeah, straight, but not straight into the fence. To be honest, we could have got away with like 500 litres so of seat that we have left in here, I think, but we'll have it in anyways, just in case. Not sure if we can extract it afterwards, we'll have to find out when we're done with it tomorrow. Yeah, I don't see us needing to get another big bag or anything like that, a pallet of seeds. No, I really do not. But if we have a look at our PDA system here. We look over here, yep, yeah, wheat, not wheat, sugar beets is growing. That is what I like to see. I think it was me when the like, sword changes, like textures and now, they're thinking, oh, have I made a mistake? Have I messed up on anything? But nope. 
We are doing everything good. So yeah, we'll go and get this done, and then afterwards we'll go and get the planks, sell them, and then that's where I think we'll call it a day, I think. <laughs> Is all the work done. Also, I forgot we need to do the rolling. Keep on rolling. So, what do we want? Do we want. Oh no, seven grand. Seven grand versus two grand. The thing I worry about the 24 meter one is will it actually fit on our sugar beet fields? You know what? Let's stick with the 12 meter. It's going to be more than enough. So the sugar beet fields they need for fertilizing and rolling. However, before we do any of that, we need to get these planks loaded up. So we've got the TLX. Ooh. Actually, we're lifting five tons of timber, and we've got 3.3 tons at the rear. And it's just lifting the rear wheels up. So hopefully, we should be good. But yeah, we've got five, ten, fifteen, seventeen and a half thousand liters of timber and uh, we've got 2,000 years two pallets of planks as well so oh, dang, it's not straight Oof. <laughs> so two four there and then four there so or four and three so this should be enough space don't stack too high want to keep the Center of gravity though also have more weight at the rear axle so perhaps you know, I'm thinking I'll put the one here and then the two by twos at the rear just so most of the weight is over the rear axle because if it's too much in the middle it's just going to lift up the front end I think of the TLX Actually, I'm not sure the TLX can cope with this so I'm not too sure but yeah, the tractor will leave up here. From now, we'll come and collect it at some point. Because yeah, things like I'm well, supposed to roll it with the 12 meter one. That can be done with this. There we go. But this does need a service as well. It's getting quite badly worn, so we'll go and grab this one. But then after this, what we can do to run off the episode is get the green mill in, take the sunflower over, and then perhaps possibly looking at some I think like, things like eggs, we can do with more chickens in there. But I'll just want to plonk them randomly here or there, I want them to have a purpose of where they're actually going. And the last plank, which should not be an issue for us. There we go, lift you up. Oof, come on, let's get you on. Ah, so it's more balanced now, so it's not always like the rear axle. It's not quite 50 50. 
make sure we're all strapped up. Safety first. Oh, we can see the truck is definitely tilting. Will it have the traction? Will it have to get up and go? Because remember, this is what? 17 and a half tons at the rear axle, so. This is probably a good little test for the TLX. Uh, well, actually, looking at the suspension now. Yes, suspension's gone up, but also it's gone down that rear. It's not catching the wheel arches, so we're good there. Actually, these springs are very compressible, so. Actually, I think we'll be fine. Just take it steady, not rag it to bits and that. So, yeah. What I do now is a nice little jump cut over to the furniture place, the carpentry. We'll pick up the furniture and then we'll get this all sold, I think. And there we go, we've picked up the planks. Now we've picked up the furniture. And as you can see, mine's gone down quite a bit because we've got the green mill in. That cost it just over 23 grand, like 2305, something like that. Plus, being spent some money on some other bits that we'll show off in the next episode. Let's just say we're amping certain productions up, if you know what I mean, but let's find that out in the next episode. So, first of all, we'll go and get the furniture sold. There we go. Make a little chunk of change there of just over eight grand. And that is twelve five there, I think. Something like that. Oh look at that. Again, almost a hundred grand. Almost. So you do have some like trees here down in there. Plus we could chuck some of this into the carpentry. Because if we have a little look. Got a green mill there. So yeah, the carpentry run a bit low on timber. Still got another few months worth of timber, so I'm thinking might as well help out. Two oh nine one nine seven, that's what I like to see. Just get a bit of timber on here and don't expect to be a high amount, just a little bit again, just keep on going for a few more months. Then when we start umping our timber production and yeah, because I want to cut more trees down like no, not there. But yeah, I sort of chop some trees out like by the church now where we've got our little pot of land to. So otherwise we might as well just sell it and use it for other things, I think. But I mean potentially we can make a lot of money. We can get a tree harvester in here at the moment, so a lot of it is gonna be just cutting down the chainsaw and get something to lift it up potentially. 527, 254. Chop you down about in the middle. Chop you again, like up here, perhaps. Dang, it's all too big. Two, two, one. Two, oh, three. There we go. Nope. Ooh, just a little bit. Two one. Get 
200 please, 200. Oh, so this should just be for a come on. There we go, one link free. Got there eventually. One there. Couple of more logs. But yeah, I could also do with a proper timber trader as well. But again, that's going to be about 39 grand or so, so it's going to be a bit of an investment, but I do think we'll get the money back for sure now. But in who's load up on a little bit of timber so we're at 5130 ish litres let's go up here which good thing is we can just go skibbly doop and up here we go but yeah having like a logging trailer that can utilise this like attach to the back of this like a little dolly get a proper long trailer. I think that's perhaps the way to go, potentially. So we got 5131. And after it all said and done, we're at 6944. So yeah, not too bad for the little hole there. And on that note, that's where I think we'll end it today. So next episode, we will continue on more or less from where we left off here. Hopefully with no video corruption issues. If there is video corruption, I will be really peed off. But yeah, so next time we'll show you what I've been spending my money on secretly around the farmyard. And then we'll start doing the rolling, getting the fertilizing done. And then we'll start looking at planting the corn perhaps. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're have a nice day. But for now, just be far my vlog stream, and I'll see you all very soon.